Anzu as one of the men manning the hot corner for the Raiders. Stevie Rowan coming on to join us today. How we doing, brother? Good. How are you? And not bad, man. Not bad. What we like to kind of start off with and what I kind of like to start off with with all our player profiles is just kind of talking season experience after we've had a wonky last couple of years, too. What's this year been like for you and this season experience like from your perspective? Uh, this year has been uh, pretty fun. Um, the last few years, we've had a pretty good team this year, continuing that. Um, our seniors have just really played really hard this year, knowing that this is our last year and knowing what our end goal is. We completed one, went in the league, and then another one went in the district. So I'm just going to keep trying to win those games that we've been dreaming about. You get to play defense in the hot corner. It takes a special kind of mindset to, to be there, especially when your pitchers bring so much velocity and you know that exit velocity of the, the hitters is going to be big. Uh, talk about the, the mindset and the mental – uh, mental space you have to be in when you're playing third and you play it so well? Uh, most of the time, you don't really have time to think over there. I'm just trying to get down low, and then anything that comes that way, I'm going to die for whatever I got to do to keep it in the infield. You talked about your ultimate goals this season, too. And, I mean, I know you didn't play on it, but how impactful was that 2018 South Range Raiders team and kind of formulating this goal and making you guys realize like this is something that is possible. This is something that we can accomplish. Yeah, it definitely showed us. I mean, they I think they entered the tournament with a losing record. So they they just showed that it didn't matter what the record was, any given day that team could knock off the best team. So um now that I th I think we have a pretty good team right now. Um just realizing that they were there at some point that we could also make it there. What's the team chemistry like, and how close knit uh, is this Raider bunch, and, and how much do you guys really have a brotherhood? Yeah, we're we're really close. South Range is a smaller community, so a lot of the guys play more than just one sport. So I would say that has something to do with it too. Um, guys are just friends from all sports, but definitely a close knit group. Great team to play with. What would you say about the spring break trip and being able to experience that for uh, one of your senior seasons? Yeah, that's, that's a great trip, being able to go down to Myrtle Beach. Um, it it really helps the upperclassmen get to know, like, the younger guys, show them how we do stuff, um, just trying to get them ready to play varsity either next year or whenever they get up there. Uh, who is one teammate that you got to know a lot with that trip especially this season? Uh, I would say probably Corey Pennick. Uh, I played basketball always with Corey and everything, but this year we we're in the same room, and I, I think we bond a little bit. We just got got to know each other a lot more. Uh, flip that too. I mean, it's kind of like a mentorship role, and the guys you look to take under your wing. But what were some of the role models that you had on this team when you first joined that you were kind of looking up to and following in their footsteps? Um, Jake Gehring was a big one. Uh, Mikey Perry and probably Brandon Mikos. They were all great players for us and just great kids. So that's definitely the kind of guy, the kind of guys that I want to be remembered by. Back in the winter before the season started, you made the announcement of where you'll be uh, call where you'll be calling your team in the next future. And I don't want to take that moment away from you for, so for those that don't know, uh, tell the people where you'll be playing the next four years. Uh, I plan to go to Walsh university uh, to continue playing baseball. What made that decision for a Walsh? an easy one and what kind of made you fall in love with that campus and that program? Um, I would say coming from South range, a smaller type school Walsh is kind of like that. They don't have, I think they only have like 3000 kids in the university. So I was excited to hear that. It's pretty close to home. I didn't want to travel too far away. And then just the coaches made me feel at home when I went on my visits and everything there. And just talk about the excitement you have to you continue that athletic career as well. And what's the feeling like of knowing that, yeah, this is your senior season, but you're not done after this year. Yeah, it's, it's definitely exciting. I've been around baseball my whole life. I've had cousins and everyone playing at the collegiate level. So it's just exciting that it's finally my turn to play there. How much of a blessing was it to have that decision made before the season started so you could spend this whole season not stressing about recruiting or impressing college coaches? You could just mentally focus on making this South Range team as good as it can be. Yeah, it's definitely a big, big weight off the shoulders just to know where I'm going and not have to worry about every game. I got to do this or whatever. Just pretty, pretty um, 
less stressful for me, I would say. What is one of the biggest things you've learned about yourself and you've learned about the South Range community from freshman year until now? Uh, I would just say that everyone in there is pretty hardworking and in this time of the year, we all have the same goal. The whole community is ready to go out and do whatever they can. Come watch us, especially tournament time. The whole community will get out there and support us. It's it's, it's great to have everyone out watching us. Baseball fans in the area know that last name. The Rowan name is big in baseball, whether you're from South Range or you're from Ursuline. Uh, what's it like to be a part of such a big baseball family and have so many guys in your family that you can go to for advice? Yeah, it's great. Um, Any time that I need anything, I know I have about like 10 people I could text or call and they, they're always there, want, want me to do my best. So it's it's definitely a blessing. I'm, I'm glad that I'm in the family that I am um, and they've all molded me into the player that I am now. What's the best and, advice you've gotten from one of your family members and who gave it to you? Uh, the best advice? Um, I would probably say either my Uncle Ed or my Uncle George have always – just give me advice that when you get in that batter's box, relax. It's you versus the pitcher. Just do whatever you can to get a hit. What kind of battles have been uh, been on MLB the show in that house? Because I know that there's got to be a, there's got to be a few. Who's your go to team, and who usually wins those battles? Uh, I'm not a big video gamer, but my brother's brother's pretty big into that. Luke, he, he'll beat me in any of those video games. Uh, since you're not a big gamer, what do you do outside of baseball to kind of relax and, and have fun? Uh, I like to fish a lot. Me and uh, my friend Mikey Perry just bought a boat, so we've been fishing a lot. That's what I would say. It's my favorite thing to do other than baseball. Where's your go-to part? fishing spot? Sorry, Ty. No, you're good. I was going to – something along the say. I was going to say the best fishing story. Give us, give us one right. of the best fishing stories. Uh, so my favorite fishing spot, I would say, is – uh, right across the street at Mr. Irons Lake. It's a great place to go to catch all kinds of fish. Then my favorite fishing story, probably this year when me and Mikey went out on the boat and we were at Lake Milton and we just caught all kinds of kinds of fish. Uh, we caught like, I would say about a hundred fish in one day. It was just a blast. What's your biggest catch? Uh, five pound bass so far. I'm Hopefully going to get, get a few bo- bigger than that, but so far that's my biggest. What are some uh, what are some experiences you look to have going into uh, college and continuing your, uh, your academic and athletic career? Uh, I would just say being close-knit with uh, the players at Walsh then, have a good like brotherhood, I would say, and then just being able to make friends next year pr- pretty early in the season. I think baseball is going to help me out with that. I'll be rooming with another baseball player, so – Let's talk about your student career at South Range. What were some of the favorite teachers that you had in the school system and maybe some that impacted your life down down the way? Uh, Miss Rosen had a big impact on me, English teacher. She's helped me out a lot throughout my four years. Uh, I liked Mr. Allegretto, Mr. Foster, Mr. Lindstrom, all those guys. I had a lot, South Range has a lot of great teachers, so I've been blessed to have. What was your teachers. favorite subject? Uh, math and science always. I was never great at English or social studies. What is the go-to dugout snack slash sports drink combination for uh, Steve Rowan? Uh, before every game, I always get a yellow and a red Gatorade, and then I always have sweet and spicy seeds and purple Big League Chew. Yellow and red, do you mix them together or do you just drink them separate? No, drink them separate because uh, it's a little superstitious. Coach, uh, Coach Fischel for the basketball season, he has some kind of Gatorade concoction that he still hasn't let us know what, what he puts in it, but it's a mixture of some kind of flavors, and I just wanted to make sure that you were one of those people too. No, no. Coach Fischel, I he coached me his freshman year. Yeah, he's got a he's pretty got good mix, mixed drink. I don't even know what Gatorade and power. I don't know what's in there. Got, but. I think it's got some, some kind of Gatorade. There's some Mountain Dew in there, I think. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What we've talked about your in-game snacks. What what's a good post-game meal that you like to have after a big win? Uh, I I'm, I'm I like pasta a lot. I like steak. I would say those are probably the two that I my favorite. I was about to say you can't be in that Rowan family without having a good pasta. Yeah, I remember uh, fondly Rowan households with with pasta dinners. Um, Definitely. 
what is the uh, be- like go-to restaurant for you? What's what's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant, um, I would say Zenobia. It's a Lebanese restaurant in Canfield. That's probably my go-to. What's the go-to order there? Like you, uh, you lamb. Um, what is uh, the one car that you would buy if you could afford any car on, on the planet? One car. Uh, I like the I like Porsches, and I, I have a Jeep now. I'm, I definitely like Jeeps a lot. Probably the Jeep three nine two. Who's your favorite professional athlete? Uh, professional athlete. Um, I'm I, I like Nolan Arenado a lot, Matt Chapman, and then Jose Ramirez. I'm sure you played a lot of backyard baseball growing up. Uh, you got any backyard baseball stories with the Rowan family? Uh, me and my brothers have a lot have had a lot of battles throughout the years. I don't. None specifically, but it always ends up with my little brother going in crying, he's saying that I cheated or something. Uh, wiffle ball. What, what's what's the what's your what's your uh, favorite wiffle ball uh, pitch? Wiffle ball pitch. Uh, I'd probably say a curveball. Uh, when you go and and you are able to, uh, you know, gra- obviously you're graduating from South Range. What are some of your favorite memories with the school system? Uh, favorite memories. Obviously, the baseball games, all like the two district championships that I've been able to be a part of, um, all the football games. Football is pretty big in South Range, so that's been a blast to go to all of, all those games too. Uh, you know, the you've brought up the success of this program even before you were a part of it. Did it did it ever kind of give you any pressure to say I have to live up to the success that this program has been having in the last five or six years? Uh, a little bit, but I think that was a good thing. Um, like kind of not pressuring us, but like knowing that our team's been good in the past few years, that we're gonna continue that. Uh, who's one teammate that you would trust to be a getaway driver? Getaway driver, I'd probably say Joe A. Uh, what about the one teammate that has the most swag? Most swag, I would say either Michael Marklin or Aiden English. All right, but who who thinks they have it? But they don't. They don't. They don't have it. They don't have any. Hmm. Who thinks they have it? But don't they? Don't. Uh, probably Luke Gehring. Uh, who's the funniest on the team? Funniest, uh, Dylan Dominguez. And uh, what's the uh, go-to playlist for for team pre-game playlist? Uh, Aiden Aiden English is always on the ox for the. Uh, like warm ups or whatever in pregame. Always so, he owns it. He owns it. Yeah. Yeah. He's he owns good it. At he, it. He's he's always got his different playlists and everything. They always get us going. Is he good at it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. Uh before we let you go, we want to give you a shout out to your support system and, and let you thank the people that have been there for you through the years. Yeah, I just like obviously I like to thank my dad, all my uncles, my whole family, my whole South Range family, Coach Hannock, all the guys I've been able to play with at have helped me become the player that I am. Um, yep, that's it. Stevie, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Good luck tomorrow in the regional semis. We definitely – we I should say tomorrow. I should say Thursday. I'm getting my days mixed up because we had yesterday off. Uh, good luck in the regional semifinals, and we wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Thanks for having me on.